those lanes. Terrific. Asafa Powell now basking in the situation where Usain Bolt is not yet at full fitness, although he ran sub 9-9 in Lausanne, winning easily a couple of nights ago. And Tyson Gay is coming back from injury as well. I got beaten in the 200 meters uh, in Eugene by Walter Dix, but my goodness, what a powerhouse of a race that was. Let's go through the lanes then. Marlon Devenish, the Gumdjigger diver from Great Britain, the best this season of 10.34, qualified as the fastest loser for this final. Very popular. Well, Michael Freiter of Jamaica, world silver medalist in Helsinki in 2005. Second in Eugene. Asafa Powell, history's most prolific sub 10 second 100 meter sprinter. 9.82 in Rome, his 70th sub 10 second run. Tyson Gay. Let's listen to the introduction and the response of the crowd. Tyson Gay, the second fastest man of all time. Daniel Bailey, drawn in the next lane. Fourth at the World Senior, Junior and Youth Championships. He's been around. Sidion Dury, the Gambian and now Norwegian record holder at 100 and 200 metres. Drawn in lane six. And then Ryan Bailey, drawn out in lane seven. Third in Eugene, ninth in New York, a best of 10.09. And Trell Kimmins of the United States, who is fourth in the World Indoor Championship just recently in Doha. He qualified with 10.23. Well, Stuart, I'm fascinated to see uh, Powell against Gay. It's the clash the Diamond League has been waiting for. Two of the big three going head to head. Had a chat with Tyson Gay and Eugene last week where he was beaten over 200 metres, coming back from uh, injury. He said he's still getting a lot of pain from that hamstring. Let's just hope it holds out when he gives it 100% of uh, a thrashing. The men's 100 metres. Devinish, Freighter, Powell, Gay, Bailey, Ndury. Bailey, that's Ryan Bailey and Trell Kimmins. The big two. Powell on the right, Gay on the left of your shot. Away this time, and uh, Powell's got the better start of the two, and Powell looks to me to be away from Tyson Gay at the moment. Gay's got a lot of work to do, and here comes the stuff. And Tyson Gay coming through! Gay, I think, gets it from Powell. It was so close. Oh, my goodness me, 9.93 into 1.7 metres per second. Now, did Tyson Gay do enough? It looked to me as though he hit the line first. We'll see. My goodness me, that was a cracking last 20 metres by Tyson Gay. He has the strength and endurance over 200 metres. And my goodness, what a good finish. What a powerful finish that is. And let's hope he's not injured. Fantastic race, wasn't it? Lived up to every bit of the billing. Everything everybody wanted from that race came out on the track there, Stuart. Brilliant running. 9.94 for Gay confirmed the winning time. 9.96 for Powell. I tell you what, though, Gay had to work for that because Powell was half a metre up after three or four strides. He got much the better start to the big Jamaican. But uh, Gay really worked hard through the second half. The 200 metre strength did come through, as you said, Stuart. He was probably still accelerating through 70, 80 metres when most of them have long hit at top speed look at this 20 meters in 30 meters in Powell had the race done I thought he was away and gone I never thought that Gay would get there but Gay here between about 50 and 80 really dug deep wonderful wonderful rhythm from him even though he starts rocking hard there in the last 10 meters and he gets it standing up glances left he has time to stare across at Asa for Powell in a rather demeaning way almost. I know he didn't mean it that way, but not too many people in the world at the moment have the ability to glance across and slightly backwards at Asa for Powell at the form he's in. A headwind of minus 1.7 metres per second. What a shame. But this is the point. It looks as though Powell had got him. Look how fast Tyson Gay comes through at the finish. That was terrific over the last... Let's have another look at this from the front. Powell got a terrific start. Gay didn't. Gay was well down. He really was. He was a metre down or so. And that at this level against the South of Powell is uh, often uh, 
a sign that he's not going to do it. But this, look how different Gay is under pressure. Look at his face. Pal, his jowls bouncing. He's relaxed. He looks good. Technically good. No tying up at all. And but Tyson Gay is a fighter. He's a battler. He wanted this. I've been out for some time. I want to come back, show I'm the man, or at least I'm one of them. The second fastest man all time prevails. Well, no what one. a good race, Tim. Well, there's confirmation. Tyson Gay, 9.94, season's best, into a strong headwind. Asafa Powell, 9.96. Good run by Daniel Bailey at 10.15 in third.